Hey everybody, it's Mandy. I wanted to continue on with my tech series. I still haven't said my name yet. Gotta do that. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my remote and why I love this thing. I have, you know, they're not interchangeable between Nikon and Canon, of course, because, you know, life couldn't be easy like that. I strictly have the shutter remotes, which means I can... If I'm doing like outfit pictures, I can take my own pictures so I don't have to have someone actually running my camera for me or using my timer. I'm so cheap, honestly, like when it comes to stuff. I went on Amazon and I originally, when I was using my Nikon D3100 for, I always forget what this one is, for my outfit pictures, I bought this remote. And this is actually for my Canon. The only thing like I hated about this is my Nikon does not have autofocus. So it was like I would take my pictures and I would never know if they were in focus or not, which is why I switched to the Canon. And I hated the video quality on the camera. But I've had the same remote for two different types of cameras and let me tell you why I actually love this remote. It's simple. I've had the remotes where you can zoom in and out on cameras and they're they're nice, but I that's just not me. Um, I like simple. I don't like... And I am so afraid, like, when I'm doing outfit pictures, this fits in my hand, so I can conceal it pretty easy, and no one sees I'm holding a remote. Actually, when I got this one, it was really funny. I, it took, like, a week to get to me from Amazon, because it sat in Texas for, like, two days, and then I went to Santa Fe, and I'm like, I don't even live in Santa Fe. So I had to call the post office, and, like, I didn't really, like, pitch a fit, but I was like, really? I don't live in Santa Fe. It's out for delivery in Santa Fe. I need this remote because it was right after I got my camera. Finally got it. This was $10 or $13. I can't remember. I'll include the link below off of Amazon. And then shipping. So it's like, it was either $13 or $17 total for this little remote. You get a little black case for it, your remote, and they give you a battery. I highly, highly, highly suggest, and I'm telling you from experience, get extra batteries for your remotes because these batteries do not last long at all. I also recommend that you, when you're done using it, take the battery out because if your camera, if you're using your camera and say your remote's over there, it's still trying to like wirelessly connect to it and it just drains the batteries. These batteries do not last long unless you take them out. So what I normally do is when I'm using my camera, I use my remote and then I pop the battery out. Just slide it out and then you can pop the battery in and out. And then you just slide it back in and you're done. And then your remote's working. It controls your shutter so you can take pictures and then pop the battery out. Uh, for my remote, I got, I always had, I always get the Energizer batteries because I'm, I've bought like off-brand batteries and all batteries are not created equal. These, this is the Energizer 2025. They work for this style of remote. I'll include the link below. This is just an Amazon remote. It's super affordable. It does the job. It's nothing fancy. You know, if for some reason this was damaged or I lost it or I broke it, I'm up 10 bucks. It does come with, I think, a year warranty. So again, what I do once I'm done with my pictures, I pop my battery out. I keep my everything in this little case, except for this battery. I put everything in, you guys saw this in my little card, my memory card holder. I keep everything in this top pocket and it all stays neat, nice, and organized. <laughs> Maybe it just broke. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but it all stays neat, nice, and organized and I don't have to worry about it um, falling out, getting lost. I just pop it in my camera bag and it's good to go. So, I highly recommend getting a cheap or any type of a remote for your camera. You'll need to research what type of remotes work for your cameras. Um, I'm honestly only familiar with DSLRs. I don't know too much about like point and shoot camera remotes, but I know some of them do have remotes for them. It just depends if it has that wireless connecting thingy in the camera. That's like my tech version of that. If you're interested in my, with the remote that I use, because I know it works with the Canon T5i, um, it works with the Canon, I believe it works with the T3i, the T4i, T5i, the 60D, 
Um, other than that, I don't know for sure. You'll have to like read the review on it. It does list all the cameras that it works on. It does not list the T5i on the website, but I have a T5i and it works. So, and honestly, like when I'm taking my outfit of the day or my outfit pictures, I set up my camera, I take my pictures, I try to conceal. Like if you ever see me when I do my outfit pictures, like you can barely ever see like one hand. And that's because I'm holding the remote. Half the time, I don't even care if you guys see that I'm holding the remote because it doesn't matter. But, what? <laughs> such a jerk sometimes. I'm like, I don't even care. But all I do is I just push the button. Smile. Push the button. Take the picture. And that's it. I mean, that's all this remote does is it just takes the picture for you. Um, I do have mine set on the self-timer. So when I do snap this, I have like a couple seconds, you know, to, to pose. But this just makes my life so 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 much easier so i highly highly recommend this little remote it's great um i'll include the link below check it out what type of remotes do you guys use for your cameras do you guys have one that does the whole zooming in and out thing i don't know i was kind of looking at one and i'm just like god it's like or i have ever seen something like connect to your camera too and i think it's cool but you know i like to get further when i do my app pictures so anywho if you enjoyed this video Give it a like. I do hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. If I can't answer them, I'll probably find a YouTube video and link it below. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!